these interesting stretches right after sunrise on this brisk winter Saturday morning can only indicate one thing. I'm running a 50K, <laughs> hopefully. It's her fault. She talked me into it. But it was very easy to talk her into it. <laughs> All right, gather up. We're excited to have all of y'all here with us today. The sound of the ringing of the antique brass bell kicks off the inaugural bell ringer race. While they start on asphalt, it doesn't take long for runners to move into the woods, making their way down winding dirt trails and up steep hills. Trekking through this tough terrain gives these athletes, all 180 of them, a challenging feat for their feet. <laughs> Water, yeah. mainly. Water. Oh, I feel great. This is the good part here. It's fun. Beautiful trail. Very nice, and the volunteers are wonderful. Oh. The fact is, this race is actually two races run simultaneously a 25K, which is about 15 miles, and a 50K or 31 mile race both showcasing the tremendous natural beauty of picturesque Montgomery Bell State Park in Dixon County. Let's go, woo! The course contains multiple uphill and downhill sections, making this trail moderately difficult, providing a challenge to runners participating in this competition. I feel pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's my birthday. Birthday, birthday run. So I'm pretty stoked. It was amazing. The trails are awesome and it's beautiful. Really great to be here. This is a contest not necessarily against other runners, but rather a battle between the pain and the urge to quit versus the will and determination to just finish. One of my life goals was to complete a half marathon and I've never done that and I keep putting it off. The trails itself were great, extremely hilly, not as flat as I was thinking it was going to be. Um, it was good though, it was a never ending trail there at the end, but it was really good. And emotions can run deep as runners of the 25K like Susan Hughes cross the finish line triumphant. Mentally drained, um, beaten, um, overwhelmed with emotion. and so thankful that my body got me through it. Yeah, it was um, quite the feat. 40 miles of trails on over 3,700 acres nestled in beautiful Middle Tennessee. It's the bell ringer, the first race of its kind. But the good news, it won't be the last. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's Great. a beautiful, beautiful setup. Loved it. Yeah. We had a good time. We'll be back. Glad these guys will be back, and hopefully they'll bring some friends. Getting folks out of the house to enjoy the outdoors is one of the fundamental goals for the Department of Environment and Conservation. The governor has really promoted a healthy Tennessee. As you know, a lot of our statistics aren't very good in where we rank on uh, diabetes and obesity and, and health, chronic health diseases. So one of the keys to that is to get people outdoor and, and start living a healthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle is exactly what 27-year-old James Bernard lives the first place winner of today's Bell Ringer 50K with an impressive four hours, 43 minutes, and 35 second time. My first 50K win, so yeah, I've had two second places, so this is my first win. It was a very good trail. It was, it was fast and um, pretty. Yeah. You know, I'd definitely be back. The race is well put on, and I could tell that the park rangers devoted a lot of their time to clean the trail up. And, you know, I've run a lot of races, and this is one of the best. Spoken like a true champion. In fact, it was a celebration for each runner who crosses the finish line and rings this bell. The sound of victory. I'm Eve Anunziato on the wild side.